Hi guys! Welcome back to my kitchen. It's me, Mirna. Just kidding. It's me, Nicole, and I'm going to be the host for this video. So yeah, that's happening today. Nicole's going to be my sous chef today, and today we're making... Peanut butter cookies. <laughs> today we're making peanut butter blossom cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be crunchy because we're using peanut butter peanut butter with the crunch into it mm -hmm. and we're gonna be using so many different stuff and Nicole here my sous chef she's going to tell you all the ingredients chocolate kisses over here three quarters of a cup brown sugar three quarters of a cup gra gra granulated sugar granulated sugar one egg one teaspoon of vanilla extract three quarters of a cup of butter or one stick and one half of a stick so butter. a stick and a half. A stick and a half butter. And then we have three quarters of a cup peanut butter, and we got the crun we got the natural crunchy peanut butter spread because we can we want to add some more crunch to the cookies. Half a teaspoon of salt and half a tea another half of a teaspoon of baking soda. And this is one cup and three quarters of flour. So to get started, you need to grab your stand mixer. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's totally fine. You could use your hand mixer or whisk. whisk. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the butter, like Nicole said, a stick and a half of butter. So we are going to add the butter and the two kinds of sugar. The brown sugar and the normal sugar. The granulated sugar. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients to the flour, which are salt and baking soda. And then we're going to mix it. Now, after we mixed the dry ingredients, thanks Nicole. And after we whisk the butter with the two kinds of sugar, we are going to add the vanilla extract. Now we're going to add the egg inside. Slowly. Yeah. We've done those peanut butter cookies before. Yeah, they taste so good. You guys have to try And make sure to subscribe to our channel. To what our, she said. To our channel. Nicole, would you like to tell everybody what is the next step? Next step is we're gonna s s sift it, the flour and the baking soda and the salt into here. So, I'm gonna so we're gonna sift the flour mixture into the wet ingredients. It's hard for me to say it. What she meant. All right, sure. Set that on the side and we're just gonna give that a sift. Looks like a amount of snow in there. We are just going to Full, don't over mix. So are the cookies gonna be soft or hard? They're gonna be soft and crunchy. And hard. A little chewy from the inside. Ah, well, yeah. actually it depends. So if you bake them until you get that golden, darker brown color, it's going to turn out really crunchy, which is still good. Some people, they like their cookies crunchy. But if you bake it, until you start seeing that golden color is going to be crunchy a little bit on the outside and chewy on the inside. I love chewy stuff. So while you're mixing your dough, preheat your oven on a temperature of 375 degrees. And keep mixing until the, all of the dough get, gets combined together. So now I have granulated sugar and a separate in a separate bowl. Um, I'm going to be using my small ice cream spatula. So I'm going to be scooping and try to get it out. So we can have same size cookies. So we're gonna do this size cookies. And then after they come out, we're gonna put the Hershey's Kisses chocolate. So we're gonna roll it first inside the sugar in the sugar and it will turn out just like this mm. and you're gonna need a non-stick baking sheet and you're gonna start 
lining them up so one inch apart. We're not gonna put the chocolate kisses inside right now. No, because if you if you bake the good question, thanks. Um, if you put the chocolate kisses right now and you bake the cookies, it's gonna melt. they're gonna oh. melt all over. So you wait for them and then until they come out of the oven and then you are going to before they cool down we're gonna stick them on top of the cookies okay So the baking time for those cookies, um, it depends on how thick your cookies are. Mine, they probably gonna be, um, I don't so, know. Not so thick? They're not, they're 100% not that thick. And they're gonna be small because I'm using this teeny tiny scooper. ice cream scooper. Um, so they're gonna probably take 10 to 15 minutes. So keep an eye on your cookies if you have like a big ice cream scooper. Or else they might get burnt, and I don't want that. I, I you do like not want I burnt cookies. cookies. You can bake those as Santa's cookies, actually, with a cup of milk. Now that I'm done rolling the uh, cookie dough with um, the sugar, now we're gonna put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, and I will show you how it comes out and how we're gonna put the, the chocolate. Kisses. Sorry. <laughs> the chocolate kisses. <laughs> the chocolate kisses on top. <laughs> all right now these are done I can see a little bit of the golden color on top so these are the golden color you're looking for and Nicole's still working on the chocolate good job <laughs> 10,000 years later grab our chocolate kisses and before they cool down we are going to stick our chocolate kisses very gently on top of the cookies or else the cookies might break and and the chocolate kiss might like all the way go to the bottom and that won't be good at all so. yeah So after that, I advise you to put them on a cooling rack to cool them down. Otherwise, the chocolate will melt because, uh, because of the heat of the um, pan. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. It's where we taste the cookies and everything we make. And see if we approve or not. Take a bite like that. Look, it's so good. Taste, tastes okay. so good. Tastes like heaven. Cheers. Good video, more. Thanks for helping. We will see now, you in your next video. Let's Bye. Go, let's go eat it. I will see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. -bye.